Hey guys, welcome back to Game Studio 460. My name is Timmy, and we are back to do another Dark Souls guide. This one's gonna be for um, the White Soapstone sign. This video is gonna be kind of long, cause um, just cause the difficulty to get it, it's a little harder. All right. Um, well, I'm already going the wrong way. Yeah. So we gotta. It's a. Uh, so start up the first bon that bonfire in Cardinal Tower, like we did for the last video. I've watched it. Um, and you gotta just keep going the path I'm going. By the way, I killed like all the enemies to the point that's important. So all these guys are I killed. Might want to be cautious when you actually fight them. There's gonna be some, I think an archer, some firebomb guys, and a lot of melee, of course. So once you get to this, this point down to this ladder, you're gonna see a guy down there. Um, don't know his name right now because I'm just doing this for the first time, so I can actually show you. But yeah, oh loot. Sorry, I'm getting the loot. Just need to. Just feel like it. Just still first run. Um, yeah, so there it is. There's it. You gotta talk to this guy, and I'll just let him talk for a bit. Hello there. Traveling all alone in these treacherous times. Well, I hope you have a very good reason. Oh, hogwash. Who am I to judge? <laughs> My name is Pate. I journey hither and thither on a sort of treasure hunt, you might call it. Be careful out there. There's talk of unsavory bandits who prey upon travelers like yourself. Oh yes, you be cautious if you go any farther. There's treasure in there for certain, but the entrance locks from behind. I saw the same design earlier, and it's the same contraption, I'm sure. I'm just gonna skip this bit, so I know it's still taking too long. Warrior, blah 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 blah. The rather brusque fellow tried to swipe the loop. I still have the gent's ring. Ned. I'll leave this one to you. I'll leave this. Alright, there we go. Once you talk to him. Uh, talk to Paid. You're gonna go in the gate, and what he says is true. Where the gate will close behind you. So this place is gonna be, I guess, it will be later with some guys. Where you'll be facing groups of enemies, like two, three, two, two to three, and they're kind of annoying. <coughs> huh? Gate hasn't closed yet. In the video I watched, I heard, uh, I saw it close. Oh well. Anyway, you're gonna go in. You gotta fight some groups of. Uh, you gotta fight some guys as you walk in immediately. Yeah, the gate closed. There we go. Alright, so that's the first group, and all you want to do is take your time if you're to be very if you're careful, because there's gonna be another group right there around the corner, and like I said, it's gonna be two to three guys that you most likely fight them in, and it's kind of annoying to do group battles in this game. But what strategy you could do is lure them out one at a time if possible, like slowly go back to the door like I'm doing right now because I need to. Ooh, go back, go back. And hopefully when the first guy comes out, you can do some strikes on him before the second guy approaches. First guy. And... There we go. Uh, here we go. We're gonna go for this last guy. Not the last guy, I mean last guy for the group. Anyway, just shields up. Mm, going for a heavy attack. There we go. Alright. Um, after you get that guy, there'll be two more guys up in the left, and there'll be basically be one guy on the stairs and one archer. It'd be gonna be kind of annoying to be facing the one guy down here, so you might want to slow lead him to over the corner if if you can. But I don't think he's yeah he's not able to. Oh, there's two guys. I was wrong. Yeah, this fight's gonna be a little tougher. But you can use the corner as like an an escape area since they don't seem like they'll be able to cross it just because of the way they're made. Alright, so take out the first guy, just like always. Luckily, that um, second guy actually went back. He actually just went back. Maybe we'll get a backstab. No, we didn't get a backstab, but we still got to throw down some hits. Taking a risk here. Got to heal up. Heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up. Go, go, go. That was close. Uh, there we go. Alright, cool. Alright, now that we've taken out all these um, nine guys in the, their three groups. Um, we'll be go. We'll be at the end. So he know he did, he did say there was treasure here, and obviously by the looks of it, there isn't really much anything of anything here. But you do see um Pate down there. So once you get down, you gotta talk to him. Well, I see you managed to escape. I hope that brave. Will be careful out there. He's gonna talk to you, Bob. Be careful, all that bandits. But once you talk to him again. Oh. 
Jesus. You get the white sign soapstone. It allows undead to call out for help to one another. Across the, with luck. There we go. Well, I That's it. That's how you get the white sign soapstone. And my last video, I probably, I'm pretty sure I uploaded to today. It will show you how to get the small white sign soapstone. And if you, and just a reminder, if you don't know what the what sign white sign soapstones do, is basically they they'll, they'll basically send you onto a different world. Uh, to help somebody, but this time you get a time limit to do it, so no more ganking squads or anything like that. Um, yeah, one more thing I forgot to mention if ever you watched one of my last videos before, you'll notice that if you're wearing headphones, because I, I, I've been experiencing it too, that you'll be only hearing my voice out of one ear. Um, that's a problem with another, uh, with microphones, I with a microphone, another microphone I'm using, and I'm trying to get the uh, last one I'm been, um, what I was using before working, just because an issue has occurred. So I'll try to get that working so you don't have to hear my voice from one ear, because I'm, because I I find that kind of annoying. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that. I hope this guide helped. Give me any ideas on how to make my videos better, or give me some, um, give me an idea what I should make a video of if you guys really want to. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.